All right, you are looking at the entrance to Granville Island. And this is one of the other tourist destinations that I heard about here in Vancouver that I really should check out. So I don't know that it's necessarily an island per se, but it's definitely a uh, place to go check out, I was told. So it's a Sunday afternoon, and it should be uh, rather lively down here, I would imagine. I don't know what uh, lively would entail. I hear it's a very artsy, diverse community down here in Granville Island. So we will uh, see if we can't find a place to park and find out. Here is the, uh, what I hear it is the market. And I heard that's a place to definitely go check out as well. So we'll find a parking spot and see if we can't see what Granville Market is all about here in beautiful Vancouver on a Sunday afternoon. Alright, so God is continuing to shine his good favor upon me today. I found a parking spot as soon as I as soon as I pulled in here to Granville Market. And right in front of my parking spot is this sign right here, which gives you an idea as to all the different things that are here. You got shops and galleries, boutiques, you have food, outdoor markets, restaurants, entertainment venues, uh, things for the kids, maritime, transportation, services, all types of good stuff. So I am right there at that red circle in the lower right corner there. And we'll uh, go walk around and check this place out. All right, here's a sign just across from my parking spot. And you can see there's a arrow pointing to the left to go to the public market and the maritime market. And the hotel is to the right and parking is left and right and you can go to Performance Works and eat ESEAD or whatever whatever that is. So we're going to uh, walk along. A gentleman just told me that uh, best bet to start would be to go down this road right here and there is an alley just up to the right and kinda go down the, go down the alley and I see a sign that says caution ducks on the road so we'll have to look out for uh, look out for ducks as we as we walk along. All right, not sure if this was the alley that he was talking about, but nonetheless, you can see there's some really nice yeah. shops here. I'm sure if Mercedes were here with me, she'd be running into this shop trying on the uh, trying on the different hats. And uh, up here, you've got a nice little place called Off the Tracks Espresso Bar and Bistro. Probably good, be a good place to come and get some work done, actually. Very, very, very nice. Everything I've seen so far about Vancouver is exactly what I was hoping to find. Just a wonderful city. There's an artesian sake maker, home of award-winning Best White Wines. Here's an interesting uh, gallery here inside. It's a woodworking. some music up the street. Some nice uh, paint brushes there. A man playing a guitar just up ahead. Beautiful hanging baskets of flowers. just up from the last wood shop and here's another one and this gentleman seems to be making a uh, some type of a of a table it's a baptismal font a baptismal what? font 
Ah, wonderful. So there's a, um, a hand-blown uh -huh. bowl that goes up in here, and that's where they put the water to baptize sure. the kids. And did you design that? I did. Wonderful. And up on his wall I see something from the Sri Ramana Mar Maharshi. Maharshi. Uh, Maharshi, yeah. Maharshi, your hands may do the work, but your mind can remain still. You are that which never moves. Realize that, and you will find that work is not a strain. So, words of wisdom. That's for sure. All right, well, have a wonderful day. Thanks yeah. for letting me do a, uh, a video. Yeah, you what a wonderful shop. There you have some nice... Uh, carvings there. Alright, definitely a very artistic flair to Granville Island. You can see here is a, uh, hopefully you can see it, a sculpture with steel balls going down right here in front of a, I think this would be a uh, concrete plant. Water, cement, and gravel are the ingredients in concrete. So you can that going going down and at the bottom they actually have a, uh, a concrete uh, mixer truck right there and then if you come over here they have the Alright, I found my way to a gallery in what's called the Creek House, and I've seen this, I don't know, sculpture or what have you before, and I'm not quite sure what, what it's all about, but uh, it's, it's a souvenir item oftentimes. You can buy this in, uh, in I, I've seen it I think in, in ivory or jade or, or what have you, but uh, so these are some, more or less a gift shop. Here. Mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of totem poles and here is the I guess you call that an Inux Inux hook and uh, if I can read that Inux hook is an Inuit word meaning in spirit of man these man-like structures have many different meanings. A signpost for travelers, a place where food has been stored, a memorial to an important event, or as an aid in hunting care of food. When asked why build an Inu's hook, excuse my pronunciation, the Inu people might reply to let people know we were here. Today the Inu's hook is seen as a symbol of friendship by the Inuit and their fellow Canadians. So there you go. Learn something new every day. All right, I found my way to another gentleman that's performing. Rather nice, I must say. Some type of a looks like a looks like a guitar. right in front of a, uh, a bread affair bakery, organic bakery. I've yet to have lunch, so this might be a place that would just hit the spot. Tuscan flatbread. I think they have some samples over here. Baked potato and green onion. Very, very good. All right, I made my way down to the harbor and look at this. Uh, look at the skyline here. At least of this part of the city of Vancouver. Really, really nice. You have all types of little water taxis going by, and here are some folks getting onto a uh, 
water taxi here and, and taking off on one over there. So it really is a uh, really is a wonderful scene here and there's some gentlemen here that are entertaining the folks with some nice nice music. Places to sit out and have a nice dinner. Just fantastic. Alright, you're looking at the entrance to the Granville Island Public Market and this is one of the uh, cornerstones of the Granville Island venues down here so I'm gonna take you for a, a walk on a Sunday afternoon through the Granville Sunday Market Granville Island Granville Island Public Market I should say so you can see they've got uh, I was told they have everything in here. They're going to have some some plants and a lot of a lot of food. You can see some beautiful azaleas. The public market on Granville Island. Look at this. Just got to stop and soak it all in for a moment. Wow, look at this place. Beautiful flowers. Really is a nice, nice looking building. Here you got some uh, there. Different, uh, different fish. That would probably be, be salmon if I'm not, not mistaken. Fresh, uh, fresh caught. Over here you got popcorn and popcorn and nuts. All types of fresh, fresh seafood, as one one might imagine. stand called Terra Breads. Look at some of the some of the breads you might get here. There's some food stands. I see they've got my favorite Mexican food. You can get sushi. And then they've got the, the gelato over here. Very, very nice. And over here you can get some pure maple syrup. All types of fresh fruit. Look at all of this. It's just a wonderful market. Chocolate is your thing. This would be a good stand for you. Over here they've got sausage. No, I saw you walking away. Seems to be a very, very popular spot. this place. Actually surprised it's so 
busy on a late Sunday afternoon. You can see the, the beautiful, the beautiful produce here. Some just wonderful fruit, all types of fruit. Here they have the line of love, looks like jewelry. Come here. Just loving in God, carrying the dream, achievement. Hi. Just a really, really nice vibe here. These are some wonderful, look like made out of, out of wood or birch mugs and, and cups. And over here they've got some nice handbags and purses. There's some beautiful hats. Walking through a market always good for uh, walking through a market is always good for for videos. Some different jewelry here. And some more uh, more sweets. Alright, so that's your uh, that is your tour of the Granville public market. Definitely a uh, definitely a must see if you come to definitely a must see if you come up here to, to Vancouver. Some bird houses right here. And then back out to the back out to the harbor. So there you have it folks public market here in Granville Island, Vancouver, British Columbia. So as I was pulling in to Granville Island, I saw this, the market, and I didn't see the little word kids up in front. So this is actually the kids market and uh, seeing as I'm a kid at heart I thought that uh, probably be a good idea to take you for a walk through the uh, the kids market there I think you've got Jack and the Beanstalk going up see. Places for the kids to play in here. Different puppets you can buy. There's sweets. What kind of kids market would it be without candy? Definitely a lot smaller than the uh, grown-ups market, but uh, nice nonetheless. There's various toys that you can get. All right. So unless I see anything else, this will be the uh, the end of the tour of the Granville Island here in Victoria, British British Columbia. Hope you enjoyed the uh, hope you enjoyed the visit.